everyone, welcome back to The Healthy Maven. Today we are chatting all about spices. I love spices for many, many reasons, but probably the most important reason is because they make everything taste amazing. If someone is complaining that you know their food doesn't taste good or it tastes too healthy, it's probably because they're not using enough spices. So I teamed up with Simply Organic today to show you guys which spices are essential for your spice cabinet, which ones are nice to have, and how to keep things organized because we all know how annoying it is to be digging through your cupboard trying to find the one spice you need only to discover you don't have it. So we're going to avoid that problem and I'm going to show you how. Let's jump in. There are a lot of spices out there so to make things easier for you guys I compiled a list of essentials and nice to have spices on the blog so make sure you check that list out to know the difference between the ones that you really need to have and the ones that are kind of fun to have in your spice cupboard. And then in terms of organizing, you're gonna want like a stacked shelving unit. I use this one that I picked up from Target. Really, really easy. And then I also put, you'll see the one in the back. I actually got that one from Simply Organic. And you can just kind of stack the essential ones along the top there. And then the rest of them I did in alphabetical order because I'm kind of neurotic, but also it makes it so much easier when you're trying to find the spices that you want. You don't have to go digging through. It's just, yeah, just trust me, go for alphabetical order and you'll thank me later. Then probably the most important part is having a spice checklist. So I created a printable of this. You can download it on the blog and basically it has all the spices listed there and when you have a spice, you check it off. But make sure you use a pencil because if you run out of a spice, you can just erase it and then when you buy it again, you can check it off. And then I hang that up on the inside of my spice cupboard and that way I don't have to go digging through when I need to find a spice. So that is how you keep your spice cupboard, your spice rack, whatever you wanna call it, that's how you keep it organized. And I'm really hoping that this has been helpful for you. I know that having that list, that printable list has changed everything for me. So I hope you guys download it. I'll link to it in the description bar below. So be sure to check that out. And also give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I always appreciate that. And subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a future video. I know I sound like a broken record, but it really does mean a lot to me and also means that when something new comes out, you actually get to see it. That is my last plea. It's definitely not my last plea. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will be back soon with another video from my latest travel adventure. It was amazing and I know you guys are gonna love it. So talk to you soon, bye. Hello, Healthy Maven viewers, readers, tribesmen. Howdy, mate. <laughs> What's up, guys? Can I just say hey, guys? Sure. Thank you. I also have to pee a little bit. <laughs>